My name is Sir James Minor, and uh, I'm an apostle of the ministry called the Neno Evangelism Center. We are located in Nairobi, at the junction of Hull Highway and Hull Slassi. And uh, I'm there from 2000, 2002, uh, all the way. We landed there. And uh, after lunching, we buy the next plot. And now, that is the church we have. And uh, this is the plan I have. But I'm feeling like I'm going to change. Instead of 21 floor, because I have uh, two, two plans. One for five floor and one for 15 floor and another one for 21 floor. Because of the church, I am thinking that I can go back to uh, floor number five. Kwa sababu, nikijenga nyumba hii kubwa 21 floors, haita uh, kuwa na utukufu wa mungu wa kanisa. Wacha ya kaisali, apewe yake. So, nitaijenga ikiwa kanisa, lakini kutakuwa na nyumba za kulala. Na... Nimepata mwaliko ama kuulizwa maswali about my life before prison. Maisha yangu kabla kuwa gerezani, I was born in Subukia. Subukia, my father has had two wives. My mother, she's a second wife. And uh, my mother uh, got nine children. I am number five. We lost our father back in 1963. And uh, there is now where my problem began. Although even when my father was still alive, I didn't, I never saw him with a, a biscuit or, a, or a, a, a cake or anything because he was a drunkard man. What I remember is uh, he used to beat us and uh, whenever he is in the house, there was no freedom. And uh, all the time, we were commanded to go and sleep very early. And uh, I remember uh, 1964, 65, happened upon the answer, Kufanya Kazi ya Chaba Boy, Kwa Kwa Mzungu. Tulikuwa na ingia gunia moja, mimi na my brother mkubu wangu late now na sasa hapo ndipo nilianza kufanya kazi i remember eh, nikifanya kazi ya maua kwa chama boy la mzungu na nakumbuka kwamba because of that nilikuwa napewa shiriki sita shiriki sita kwa mwezi na napea mama yangu shiriki nne na baki na shiriki, shiriki nne na baki na shiriki tatu mbili Two shillings were a lot of money. So, hizo shirigibiri nilikuwa ninaenda soko ni nazo, na nilikuwa naanza kununua keki, tunauza kule kwa kahawa na my brother. Basi, nikaenda kina ngopu, nikaandikwa huku, na, na wangia my life before prison. Nikaandikwa, I was a very good boy, nilikuwa nakamua ngombe, na peleka maziwa, mwenye nyumba hiyo alinipenda sana, nilifanyia kazi seven years. Ijapo kuwa nilifanya nyumba nyingi, lakini nyumba moja tu, yu nilifanya seven years. Nikatoka kwake, na nikaenda kwa ishi, kuwanda maisha sasa ya, ya ujana ama whatever sasa kwa towns. 1972, ndiyo tulienda sasa kuwa watu wazima. Na uwa mwaka ndiyo nilishikuwa, nikafungwa six months eh, na kuru prison. Kubuka kwamba, nimefungwa na sina mtu yeyote wa kutegemea sasa huku ukifika jela mambo huwa inabadilika ukiingia gerezani mtu ukutana na watu wengine ambao ni different wanakupatia uh, mawazo mengine unajikuta umeingia kwa mambo ambayo sasa huku jua ni kama umeenda ulimwengu mwingine sasa hapo ndipo maisha yangu ilibadilikia ili 1972 that's when i started being in prison 
Now, from there, I was in prison on and off from 1972 all the way to 1992. That is, we talk about 20 years. 20 years, uh, in 20 years, only two years, two times, I celebrated Christian, uh, Christmas outside the prison. All those years, Nilikuwa Niko Dania Gereza, either I'm in remand, I'm, an, I'm in prison. In Nilitamani kutoka kwa hiyo mambo. Nilikuwa natamani tu mwezi bidi nikae bila kushikwa. Nikatamani mwezi sita nikae bila kushikwa. Hata baada ya kutoka jela nilihesabu. Up to 1989, that's where I got saved in prison. And uh, after I got saved nilipo okoka, and nilianta kubiri nikiwa na mwezi moja. Just to test kuelezea watu ushuhuda kwamba I'm born again now. I'm not smoking na sioni shida yote. Sasa kutoka hapo 1989 nikakubali nikafungu nilifungwa kifungo kimoja. Two and a half years. Nilikuwa na some other cases after kuokoka nikaenda nikakubali zile kesi jaji akanifunga concurrent kwamba aliniuliza kwa nini umekubali hii kesi na umekaa Romande mwaka mbili nikamwelezea nimeokoka. Akauliza what is that? kamwambia nimeokoka okay jaji akasema akanifunga 2 and a half years concurrent ni kwamba hiyo niko nayo ziingiane ndani so nikatoka jela 1992 after prison now my life after prison because i lost my education nilianza tu kubebea watu mizigo na mkokoteni pale mwembe tayari Mombasa and uh, kutoka hapo nikapata mtu akanipa 500 nikanunua maembe na mandizi sokoni kongoya nikaanza kuuza na nilipoanza kuuza nikaendelea hivyo 1993 one year after prison i got married nikaoa 1993 nikakaa 94 nikapata duka kule bomboruru Nikawa na baiskeri, nikawa na pikipiki, nikawa na kioski, nikawa na duka. Kule bomboruru. Before having my ministry, nilikuwa under some other pastors, some other churches, where nilikuwa nina attend. Then uh, all, in a, all of a sudden, uh, the church was like a kikuyu. Now, my pastor was not an, uh, an evangelist. So, mimi nilikuwa evangelist na enda na ubiri, watu wanakuja, wanaokoka. So, uh, Sunday, watu wakitishwa wageni, wanashudia, wanasema, uyu pastor dia liniobea. So, wazee wakanisa wakamwambia yule, wakamwambia uyu pastor kwa ba, uyu mtu watageuza kanisa lako. Basi kutoka hapo, uh, nikaandikiwa barua na pastor wangu na nika abiwa I'm no longer member of that church nikaenda kwa bishop mwingine eh, nilikuwa na ubiri pale lerwi akawa ananipea kauja yake maana ule amechukua kale kauja sorry nilikuwa nachukua kauja ya kanisani na ubiri nao from monday to friday naregesha kanisani na ubiri sunday peke yake tukimaliza eh, sunday na ichukua naenda nayo pale Larry. So, uh, asa hapo nikaenda, huyo nae alipo, ni, tole, ali, alipo ni ondoa kwa kanisa lake, nika mlegeshea auja yake. Sana nikaenda huko uh, jomfu kwa alafiki yangu bisho mwaura. Nikawa nina chukua yake, ananipatia auja yake, na kuja kubina pale Larry. Friday na iregesha, na eja kuchukua Sunday jioni, tukimaliza kanisa na enda nayo. Sasa niko na motorbike tukaenda hivyo mpaka sasa huko nako nikaona ni mbali tukashikana watu saba tukaanza kanisa tukaanza ushirika hapo Mombasa Pakistan I think yeah. tukaanza ushirika kwa nyumba na tukakaa kama wiki tatu sababu tunapiga ile mtungi eh, na huko kuna maloya watu wa, uh, matena ndio wakaandikia uh, 
na wakaandika barua kwa agent kwamba tunapiga kelele ule mama akaandikiwa barua kwa hivyo tuka, mimi nikawaambia watafute mahali ndio tukapata mahali pale wanaitwa Kikoani Primary School Kikoani hapo ndipo tuliingia sana 1995 tukaanza hapo tukiwa watu saba watu saba within two weeks tukawa watu 12 13 three weeks tukafika watu 20 tukaenda hivi tukafika watu 50 tukaenda mpaka tukafika class ikaja oh uh, oh because of 1 2 3 tulikuwa nalipa class 900 per month sasa nilikuwa nalipa na ile duka yangu nikapeana hiyo duka yangu bila kujua nikaenda zero kwa hivyo tukashindwa sasa namna ya kulipa class mwalimu akatuandikia headmaster a eh, warning akasema nao mtaodoka na msilipe hiyo pesa wiki hiyo hiyo ya ama hiyo mwezi kabla hizo that's now mtu mwingine alikuja watu kama waine watano hivi ah, tukaona pesa tukalipa mwali headmaster ed, na nikapata chandaria chandaria nikawa nalipa only sandy 5000 that was a lot of money only sandy tunalipa hapo chandaria nikiwa chandaria uh, mtu mmoja nikamwombea alikuwa mjamani alikuwa na ugonjwa wa blood cancer mtu huyu akaniahidi kwamba kama Mungu atambariki akaniambia kama ataenda kwa wakute amepona atakuja kunisaidia basi akaenda within one month tena akarudi akaniambia Mungu wako ni mkubwa ameniponya unataka nikusaidie nini siku ana gari nilikuwa na pikipiki lakini kamwambia ningetaka kuhubiri kwa TV akaniambia atanilipia TV miezi mitatu sasa kutoka hapo ndipo tulienda akanilipia TV kule Mombasa three months na akanilipia mtu wa ku wa kunipiga hizo wa kuchukua hizo film akanichukua film sijui yeye ndiye ananiambia angalia microphone ongelesha wale watu wako nyumbani fanya mkono hivi sasa E, mana naongea nimesahau nasema angalia kamera mana nimesahau tena ambia angalia kamera hivi uangalie kamera sasa huyo akanifundisha sana sijui alikuwa anaitwa Msheru ah sasa nikawa na na ubiri kwa KBC nilikuwa nakuja saa mbili KBC wakanipatia e, wakakataa Mombasa nikaja Nairobi wakakataa lakini mtu mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Mrema akaniambia ndio alikuwa production manager akaniambia niweke pale mwanzo pale mwisho mwisho mira kubiri na niweke namba ya KBC asikie vile watu watakomplain so nikaweka in two weeks three weeks wakaniita akasema toa namba yetu na uendelee na mambo yako maana watu walipiga simu huyu mtu yuko wapi yuko wapi remember i'm the man who came with deliverance on television sisemi kuianzisha but the man the first man to bring the ministry of deliverance on television Kenya is apostle nganga nilikuwa nalipa i don't remember how much lakini nilikuwa nakuja 30 minute saa 12 asubuhi nikaenda nikaja saa moja. kama tu Nairobi nilisikia sauti ya bwana kaniambia nitoke Mombasa sasa ukubuke wakati huo nishapata basi hii basi unaona hii imepakwa rangi hapa hiyo basi si ya sasa ni ya zamani lakini vile haifanyi kazi inaendaka tu crusade kwa hivyo bado ni mpya i mean bado haizeki hiyo basi unaona na sasa nimenunua nyingine inaitwa roho eh ni unaona zote mbili hii ni ya hiyo 2002 na hii sasa ni ya 203 Eh? Sasa hii basi nikawa nikienda Kenya nzima nimeenda only kule sijaenda ni ni Migori na Ludwa. Na labda wapi? Ya, yeah, lakini Machakos, Kitui, Embu, Meru zote hizo nimeenda. Nasema hivi, ah uh, niliposikia nilipomaliza kwenda hizo nikawa nakuja Nairobi once a month wiki ya tatu. Tulikuwa nakuja Uh, Bishop Moiro uh, 
prophet ma, uh, Teresia wa Irimo na mimi nafikiri mimi nilikuwa niko namba tatu. Teresia alikuwa first week bishop Moiro second week na mimi wiki ya tatu. sasa tukahubiri hapo natoka Mombasa na kuja na basi nafika hapa eh, Friday sabu tukua tunahubiri Saturday na Sunday tunafika Friday tunaweka vyombo usiku tunahubiri Saturday na Sunday naondoka tena Monday na nikaja huku Nairobi nikaanza kanisa pale I don't remember hapo karibu na Jiva G somewhere hapo inside nikapewa na mama moja ka ofisi miso kelo miso kelo miso tieno miso tieno akanipatia ka ofisi yake nikaweka viti kama 40 nikafungua ka ofisi hapo kwa inange within uh, sande biri hiyo ofisi karibu na na, na, na msikiti wale wakaja wakaniambia nitoe hiyo vitu hapo sababu nilikuwa naweka mpaka hon speaker nje nasema hivi Uh, kutoka hapo sasa nikaenda nikafungua kanisa pale Sonlak kutoka Sonlak ikaja nikashindwa nikawachana nayo nikafungua hapo hapo wapi hapo naita Luduru Luduri hiyo siku mbili saa tatu kakaja sasa mwisho nikapata kule Leonard Ngala kule Ngala nikapata Baveshi na sasa kutoka Baveshi ikaja ndio nikaja kupata hapa Uhuru Highway kiwanja hiyo naona hii sasa kamebaki yako naona 